Hello, everyone. This is Miguel. I am the host of Strategy Rewind Podcast, the podcast that focuses on the mindset and strategy needed for a breakthrough moment. I'm so happy that you would be connected here today. And let's dive right into this. When I was a kid, I remember that there was this phrase that we would use. It was a phrase that identified the person who was copying us, uh, the person who was imitating us. And we would often get bothered and frustrated and irritated. And we would say, he's copying me. He's copying me. At least that was the conversation between my brothers and I. He is copying me. (laughs) And maybe you have siblings so you can relate. But the conversation was always, he's copying me. He's copying me or she's copying me with my sisters. And here's what would happen is that we would begin to call that individual a copycat, right? We begin to call that person a copycat. You're a copycat. You're always copying me. You're always doing this, that, and the other. And the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, as a father, oftentimes my daughters will say, she's copying me. He's a copycat. (laughs) And what I tell them is, hey, you, you are so inspirational. You are so Uh, motivational that they want to do what it is that you're doing. You've inspired them. Feel good about that. Of course, that perspective sometimes doesn't help, but nevertheless, that's what I tell my children. As a child, I remember saying the words copycat or even being called a copycat without even really taking full into consideration what that meant. Nowadays, we see a lot of people who are copycats. Let me be specific on what I mean. Because as you know, we talk about personal growth, personal development. And when we talk about personal growth and personal development, there are people that are copycats. We're going to jump into what that means in a moment here. I got Mustafa coming on. So we're talking about, well, what a copycat is. We're going to jump on that in just a moment. Mustafa, how are you today, man? I'm good, brothers. I mean, should I say salam alaikum to you? Where are you from, brother? I am from upstate New York. How about yourself? I'm originally I'm from Turkey. Awesome, awesome. So, so, have you ever, when you were a kid, did you guys ever call each other, maybe your brothers or sisters, relatives? Did you ever call each other a copycat? Copycat? No, brother. The reason why I'm from Turkey, we didn't call ourselves like that. So we called like more, more like wild things we were calling each other like kind of dog big dog okay 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 so so when when we talk about personal growth and when we talk about setting goals and trying to be better have you ever found yourself maybe defining success the same way someone else does or trying to do things the way someone else does it no Miguel, brother like Two people listen to us. Why are we not talking about like, like more like more basic question each other? Why we need to keep our question as big like that? You know, you can keep your question as small. Well, the conversation that I have here is conversations with reference to personal growth, and so the question is, if you've ever felt as though you had to imitate someone else. I know in my life when I didn't know kind of how to navigate, I've done that before where I saw where someone else was going. And as opposed to imitating the steps, I imitated the individual. Have you ever found yourself in that situation? So my wife saying yes. <laughs> She's with me here. My wife saying yes. Yeah, it's a natural thing, Mustafa. You know, it's it's the idea is that you would find someone that has already gone to where you want to go. Maybe if they've studied or they start a business, maybe you want to do the same thing. And it's easy to see the person. The idea is to see the steps they take. But sometimes we fall into that trap of seeing the person and imitating them. So, but brother Miguel, the, like, uh, l- l- let's be honest, like everybody's like scenario is different than each other, you know? Even Correct. Each- even if you do like exactly the same steps, you're not gonna get the same result. You know that. I agree 100%. And that's why when we talk about a copycat, a copycat is the person that copies exactly what the other person is doing. 
So when we talk about personal growth, as you mentioned, Mustafa, that just doesn't work. It doesn't work, brother. It's just sometimes you need luck or sometimes you need like, you know, like and being energetic or like it, it's 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 totally like it depends to everything. It's look like it depends to nothing, but it depends to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of variables. Well, what would you say is one thing that we need for sure? There's one thing that we need in order to be able to accomplish our goals. What would you say would be that one thing? Try every day harder. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That dedication, <laughs> that hard work, that ethics. All right, Miguel. Nice talk to you, brother. Have hey, nice Mustafa, day. thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what we're talking about, right? We're talking about this. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, again, we, we would go ahead and we would just say copycat to each other what we were talking about was exactly that copying each other with the way we talked with the way we walked with our mannerisms by the way we are live here on the wisdom app and i want to say thank you to people who are joining the room if you want to join in like mustafa you just did hit that button become a guest as we're talking about personal growth and this idea of being a copycat and oftentimes we try to imitate the other individuals that are attempting to do the same thing we're doing. Now, Tony Robbins is famous for this. He says, find yourself someone who is where you want to be and then study their steps. But this is the issue. Sometimes as opposed to studying their steps, we study the person. And so as opposed to saying, okay, this person took these steps, we begin to say this person is this way. And now we begin to, as opposed to learn from their steps and their decisions, we actually begin to imitate that individual. We become a bona fide, certified copycat. And we shouldn't be that way. Why? Because as Mustafa alluded to, we have all come from different backgrounds. We have different experiences. Even if you're being raised in the same household, you still have different experiences, traits, talents, gifts, etc. And so the idea would be that you would not be a copycat. Now, what I've titled this episode is copycat backslash catfish. Because sometimes you're not a copycat, but you're a catfish. Now, let me, let me talk a little bit about what I mean by catfish. Several years ago, there was this popular show called Catfish. And what it was, it was that an individual had gone on or started dating someone online. What they did not know is that the person that they were dating online, whom they thought was a female, actually turned out to be a male. And well, that began this horrific experience for that individual. And they used that in experience to start a, a, a television show, right? A program where they actually helped other individuals who were facing the same thing. This is called being catfished, right? And so what I'm saying is that oftentimes in our journey, we are either a copycat, meaning we try to copy other individuals and emulate them in our journey to growth, or we become a catfish where we try to actually deceive the world, deceive others, and appear as someone that we're not. And the truth of the matter is, is that you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool everyone all the time. And so it may be that you may have people believe that you have all under control. But the truth, the truth is, and I think you know this, is that sometimes life will bring you some storms and it will actually reveal who you really are. We've seen this a lot. Individuals who seem to have it all figured out, seem to have it all in order, and something takes place where you realize they were actually a catfish. They presented themselves to be something, but they actually weren't that. They were not being authentic. They weren't being honest. They weren't being truthful. I do not subscribe to the idea of fake it till you make it. Because fake it till you make it means act as though you already know everything. And if you don't know, you're better off being honest and saying, you know what, I don't know. Because when you say you don't know, you open yourself up to the possibility of learning something new. And as you learn, you grow. And as you grow, you change. And as you change, you become the version of you that actually has massive success.
that actually has an impact, that actually leaves a legacy. So often we are imitating other individuals or trying to convince everyone else that we've got it all put together and figured out. And what happens is that this leaves us feeling empty. This leaves us feeling as though we're actually not advancing, as though we are not being our authentic self. And so what I wanted to talk to you today or talk with you about today was this this dilemma that we have. This dilemma, it's a real issue that needs to be addressed. That when we talk about personal growth, you need not to copy anyone else. In fact, here, my definition of strategy is a defined number of steps to help you obtain a breakthrough moment. That's my definition of strategy. I remember when I started looking up online, and you can do the same. I started going to Google. I started doing a search. I mean, I used all of them. I used Siri. I used Bing. I used, yeah. I mean, I did a bunch of searches to try to figure out and read and watch videos and listen to people to try to figure out a definition of strategy. And every time I would hear a definition, I would read a definition, it had either to do with the war room or the boardroom, right? Either with the war zone or the boardroom. And I was like, wait a minute. Not everybody goes to the war zone and not everybody is in the boardroom. What about the mother who's trying to balance, you know, working two jobs and raising kids? What about the student who's trying to go to college and get a part time job? Like what about the person who's trying to navigate transitioning careers or trying to start a new project? What about that individual? How would they apply strategy? And so I began to work out this definition of strategy. Strategy is a defined number of steps to help you obtain a breakthrough moment. And what happens when we talk about strategy in this way, it means that you would first have to be real honest with where you are. You see, somebody else may be 10 steps away from their breakthrough moment, and you may be 20 steps away. And it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Because once you understand how far away you are from your breakthrough moment, once you understand the steps that are required, this is where the fun begins. Because you can begin to actually work on becoming the person that you want to be and living the life that you wish to live. What happens is that oftentimes we're too busy looking to the left and looking to the right. We're too busy being a copycat and copying everyone else. We're too busy being a catfish and trying to deceive everyone as opposed to putting our authentic self out there and saying, you know what, I don't have it all figured out, but I'm on the journey of working it out. There's a story that I really like, and it's this moment that Michael Jordan was getting ready to retire. He didn't want to retire, but his loyalty to his team, actually, he said to the owner, if you do not sign these people back, They were thinking about trading Pippen and Rodman and not even bringing back to Coach Phil Jackson. He said, if you're not bringing any of these people back, I'm not coming back. The owner essentially blew up the team, meaning he traded everyone and didn't re-sign a bunch of contracts. And Jordan retired. But Jordan says something in his documentary. He says something. He said that the year that he retired was the year that he felt like he finally got it, like he finally clicked. He knew what he had to do, and he knew how to do it and when to do it. That's a breakthrough moment, ladies and gentlemen. That's that aha moment where everything makes sense. Now, here's the thing. This is Michael Jordan after the six rings. So what are you saying? Did he fake it until he made it? No, no, no. He trusts the process. He trusts that he was doing everything he needed to do and that eventually his skills and his understanding would match. So there's this theory that if Jordan would have played another year, he would have had seven rings. And we will never know. But this is why I don't buy into fake it till you make it. This is why you don't have to be a copycat. This is why you don't have to be a catfish. For a long time, people have been saying, you only live once. And if that is true, that you only live once, why would you waste it? trying to be a copy of someone else when you can be authentically you. 
Why would you want to journey through your life trying to copy somebody else when you can be authentically you? I realize that sometimes it's hard to see the value in ourselves. I know for me, it was difficult to see the value in myself. This is what actually inspired me, actually motivated me to, to want to be a mentor, a teacher, to eventually become a personal growth strategist. I recall the moments that I didn't believe in myself. And yet there were other people that saw potential in me that I didn't see in myself. It took a while for me to gain clarity. It took a while for me to understand the value that I have and the impact that I could leave. And if you right now are in a position where you feel like you need clarity, I want to encourage you to head over to MiguelLebron.com and set up a free 30-minute clarity call. You see, what happens is that we often think the worst and we think, I can't do that. I won't do it. No, no, that's going to be too much. How about you take a moment and actually think about this? You have two options. You can keep doing what you've been doing, or you can do something totally different. Now, here's the thing. If you do something totally different, something you haven't done before, like actually set up a clarity call, actually set up a strategy session so that you can begin to move towards a better version of you. If you do that, you may actually see some massive changes in your life. Or you can keep doing what you've been doing, and that's okay. But I think you know the definition of insanity, right? A lot of people say that Albert Einstein came up with this definition. The definition of insanity being that it's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. But you're too smart for that. You're too wise for that. And I know that you have a hunger and a desire to grow. So I'm encouraging you, do not be a copycat. Do not be a catfish. Do not imitate others and do not try to deceive the world because what happens is that you only deceive yourself. I am challenging you that this year, this month, this day, this hour, be authentically you. Be brave enough to be yourself and say, yes, I will dream bigger. I will aim for more. But the only way to aim for more is to first actually analyze analyze where you are and align your values and your goals this is how you aim for more you you begin to analyze and you align your values with your goals you align your values with your goals and then you begin to identify you begin to identify what does it mean to be successful and then you meticulously evaluate your habits and your routines. Because I guarantee you that as you do that, you begin to uncover some things that you didn't even know were there. But these things only work if you are willing to be authentically you and embrace your journey as opposed to being, you know, a copycat or being a catfish. The choice is yours. But as you know, if you continue to do the same thing, you'll continue to see the same thing. And you cannot change a situation having the same perspective that got you to that situation. You need a new perspective. You need a new strategy. You need a new mindset.